hi students coming to our next topic that is concurrency control so before going to know about the concurrency control let us see what is a concurrency okay so let us see what are the advantages in concurrency then we will go for the concurrency control okay so actually concurrency is nothing but executing multiple transactions at a time executing multiple transactions at a time so executing multiple transaction at a time you call it as a concurrency so why we required concurrency why concurrency is required in database so what is the use of using concurrency in database okay only single instruction can execute uh, uh, single transactions can execute at a time okay after the completion of one transaction you can enter into another transaction by following the acid properties then why we are going for concurrencies in database so if you take the atm machine suppose okay so if you take a atm machine that is sbi bank related to sbi bank suppose one person is uh, withdrawing money in one of the atm bank okay if you are not using the concurrency if you are not using the concurrency so the person if he is using the atm by withdrawing the money after the completion of his work only another person can withdraw the money in another atm okay means one after the another one after another so if we without concurrency okay so then wastage of time is more because so many people are accessing the atms of the same bank at the same time in different places if they wait that much of time it is wastage of time will be more so for that reasons we are going for the concurrency okay you can take another examples for railway reservations okay in the railway reservations also if you are accessing the tatkal tickets okay if you are accessing the tatkal tickets at the at that particular time so many people are accessing at a time okay so many people are accessing the tatkal at same time okay so in that case also the concurrency is important because it is executing multiple transactions different people are executing at the same time accessing the same portal at the same at the same time okay so here one thing is whatever the transaction is doing by single person they thought that uh, those transaction will be in isolation okay means whatever the transaction he is doing the person that thinks i am the only person who accessing this uh, railway reservation because he is having that much of features like he can access he can uh, may, he can uh, book the ticket okay so this is why we are using the concurrency in database what are the advantages of using these concurrencies in database advantages okay so the advantage is the waiting time will be decrease response time will decrease resource utilization so so many people can uh, utilize uh, the same resource so resource utilization may increase efficiency will be increased the system performance and efficiency will increase so these are the uh, advantages of using concurrency so even though these many of advantages will be there why we are controlling the concurrency okay so what is the problem that is raising in using the concurrency control so here you have to be note that simultaneously the simultaneous execution of transactions over a shared database can create several data 
integrity and constraint problems several data integrity and consistency problems okay so even though uh, you are having so much of advantages by using the concurrency the simultaneous execution of transactions simultaneous execution of transactions over a shared database a single database is there suppose the database is sbi database simultaneous execution so many people are withdrawing the money at the same time in the shared database can create several data integrity and consistency problems will be there so what are those problems even though so, it is executing fasting uh, the response time is decreased resource utilization is more even though those many of advantages here some integrity and consistency problems will be there by using the concurrency so the main problems of using this are so the main problems the there are three main problems will be there the three main problems or the first one is lost updates so lo updates will be lost uncommitted data uncommitted data inconsistent retrievals okay so these are the three problems that are facing the concurrency concurrency control lost updates uncommitted data inconsistent retrievals so let us see the conflicts that are arisen in the serializability of a transaction conflicts so the conflicts are the write read read write 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 conflicts serializability of transaction of transaction so let us see what are the conflicts that are occurred in the serializability of a transaction so first what is the serializability so serializability of schedule is nothing but a schedule that is equivalent to some serial execution of transactions you call it as a serializability serial executions so that is serial execution of transactions so that you call it as serializability so let us take first conflict in concurrency control so the first conflict is reading uncommitted data reading uncommitted data so you call it as w r conflict you call it as also as a dirty read so the another name for the reading uncommitted data is dirty read so reading uncommitted data that is wr uh, write read conflict you call it as a dirty read so let us see what is this reading uncommitted data let us take two transactions t1 and t2 first read a value suppose a starting it should be 5 read a value and increment a by 1 now the a becomes 6 and stored in and you are writing the a value okay so a plus 1 and you are making you are writing the a value means it's committed read a not committed it is written read a write a and these values will be stored in local buffer now coming to the transaction t2 what it does it read a so whenever the ta uh, t2 transaction is reading may instead of a, 5 it reads the 6 value after they are reading it just commit okay and again the t1 is still incomplete it reads the b value and it writes the b value and it suppose it is abort okay let us take so this is the example t1 t2 or the uh, two transactions 
okay so first it reads the a value that is the 5 value and it is incremented by 1 and it write the value now the value a is 6 so after completing the t1 transaction uh, so before completing the t1 transaction t2 is reading again the a value so now it is reading 6 instead of 5 okay and it commits the program so this you call it as a dirty read why you call it as a dirty read? Because without committing that, uh, uh, read, it is reading the uncommitted data. In T1, you are not still committed. So, it just we written the value in the local buffer. So, just stored in the buffer. Okay. So, it is stored in the buffer. It is not committed. Mean it is not updated in the database. Even though it is not updated in the database, it reading the value whatever it is there in the local buffer local memory okay now the value here is a 6 so this this is the problem you call it as a dirty read reading uncommitted data it is here it is uncommitted data the problem here is t2 reading t2 read a value which is not committed Okay, so after, even though it is not committed, it reads a value. So, uh, after the reading, it, the value here is a 6 and it is committed. Committed means the value 6 is saved in the database, the original database. It moves from local buffer to the main memory, the database. Okay, so now the again the T1 transaction still it is not completed. It is reading value B and it is writing B and it is aborted. Whenever the T1 transaction is aborted, okay, so it goes up, okay, it goes up means all the transactions, whatever it is done or failed, it remains unchanged, okay, the transaction means it is rollback. So, whenever it is condition is aborted means all the transactions were done up to now. A, 5, 6, all the transactions done up to now will be aborted, will be rolled back and again uh, the values whatever there in the previous will be saved. That is now the A is 5. Okay. So, now here see the T1 transaction A is 5 and here the T2 transaction A is 6. So, this is a conflict write read conflicts so this is the reading uncommitted data so whenever the data that is read which is uncommitted that here the problem will arise okay so if suppose this transaction is going like that uh, without aborted then no problem will occur so the value already here is also updated to 6 and here is also updated to 6. No problem. No conflicts will be there at the side of the database. So whenever the transaction T1 is aborted, here the problem arises. So whenever it is aborted, it remains the previous value only the 5 value. But here it is a 6 value. Okay. So this is one of the conflict that is a reading uncommitted data. So let us see then another conflict. So, the second one is, the second one is unrepeatable read. So, unrepeatable read means read-write conflict. So, and, so, the next uh, conflict is unrepeatable read. So, here unrepeatable read means, suppose take two transactions T1 and t2 first it reads the value of a so a is starting it should be 10 so it updated to uh, means uh, a plus 5 so and write the uh, it is updated so now the a is so just take read the value of a that is a 10 so t2 is also reading the value that is also 10 okay so after that it uh, updates the value to plus 5, a plus 5 and write the value. Now the a is 15, write a, now the a is 15. Okay, wait, 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 let me, let us see first, t1, t2, read a, a value is 10, 
okay again it reads the value in t2 transaction that a value is 10 okay so after that it writes a value okay a value uh, it is write the value of a so and then it again writes the value of a in that is 15 means it, it is updated so here it is a plus 5 so after that it is writing the value of a it is 5 so before and then it is committed so now here the value is 15 but here in this transaction it is 10 not it is just simply reading not writing so here this value is 10 and here this value is 15 let us see again so this is a t1 transaction and this is t2 transaction first reading the value of a that is a is equal to 10 okay now the a value is 10 after that again t2 is also reading the same value because i didn't write anything so read a the same value is 10 okay so after that it is writing a t1 is writing a may after updation a plus 5 now the value here is 15 okay so now the t2 is again reading a it is not writing reading a what value it reads so whatever the previous uh, uh, is updated so write a so that 15 will be read by t2 so here the conflict arises that is a read write conflicts means a confusion is arise in the t2 transaction a confusion is arise in the t2 transaction means why two values are there for a so a is 10 again a is 15 now what value i have to be right what value uh, the t2 has to be stored in the database what value it has to be con uh, committed so that is a problem you call it as a unrepeatable read so this you call it as unrepeatable re read write read write conflicts so according to transaction it thinks that it is in isolation means only that transaction is one who is executing at present okay so this is the unrepeatable read so let us take the third conflict so what is the third conflict lost update lost updated that is right right conflict you call it as a right right conflict so let us see what is this lost update right right conflict so let us take the again the two transactions t1 and t2 so first it reads the value of a a starting is 10 okay now increment the a value by 1 okay now write the value now a becomes 11 okay so in the t2 at the same time it is writing a without reading it just simply writing a so you call it as a blind write means whatever the value that is there in the t1 that simply it is writing the a value okay so and it is writing the a value whatever it may be and it writes that value and make it as a 50, uh, 60 okay so 60 and it should be committed let us think that t1 is reading one value 10 and it incremented by one value and it is making as right a and now the a is 11 so t2 is something is it's reading in somewhere in the value and it is writing that updating that value by making it as a 60 and it is committed okay so after that here also the t1 transaction is also committed but see here the conflicts in the t1 transaction the value is 11 okay so whereas in uh, the value is 11 and whereas in t2 transaction the value is 60 okay so this you call it as a lost updated right right conflict this right and this right both rights will be conflicted okay so these are the three concurrency control uh, the conflicts that are raised while you are transferring this data in serializability transactions okay the first one is reading uncommitted data you call it as a dirty read and second is unread unrepeatable read and lost updated right right conflict thank you